Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a intro to another project and yes, this is a, a wig. Uh, I bought this one off of Wish like a, a two years ago or so maybe. And recently I got another one like a purple. I will have a picture right here. But both of them look very like unnatural at like the top. So I've been trying to fix this one by sort of widening the part right here and then sort of try and make it more look more natural right here at the front so let me know if you feel like I've done a good job but I'm sure it does not look like natural at all uh, and I don't know that this uh, style really suits me but I thought it would be fun just because I wear this look in another video that we'll have here up in the cards if I have already posted that if you want to see how I created this look so I thought I would spice it up a little bit and wear this week but yeah that's not why you came here you came here because today I'm going to do a intro to a product that I think I will call project 100 empties so in 2017 that's when I started panning and then I I've also been panning all throughout 2018 and I got a lot more empties during the year of, or I got, well, quite a bit more empties during the year of 2017 than I got in 2018 and I think that was because I just had less pro uh, projects and I think that maybe not finish up as many products as I would have if I had had more projects. That was, that is a tongue twister saying project, products progress well so I think I'm going to call this project 100 empties and this is also because two years I have failed at doing my monthly empties like I start out the year doing them and then I just get bored of doing them so I stop doing them so in this video I'm sort of going to combine my empties and also sort of like a product pen 10 pan so it's going to be something sort of in the middle and for the total of 100 empties I will count makeup of course I will also count skincare and probably some like hair care items I will not count like body wash toothpaste like deodorant or like body care products uh, I will count a body lotion and that type of stuff like body shimmer uh, fake tan uh, yeah, we'll see a little bit, but I will not include like shower gel and shampoo and all of that that I have in my shower uh, because those I just use up and then I buy a new one and then I use that one up. So it's, yeah, it's nothing like I have to make myself use up in order to use it up. So yeah, I'm going to sort of add up all of my empties in this product for every month and then hopefully at the end we get a total of at least 100 products products and if we get to more than 100 if I feel like it's going well I'm just going to uh, increase the number to 150 or 200 that will be amazing so yeah today I'm probably just going to show you 10 products that I will be focusing on and hopefully I have uh, progress and sort of some empties in my video that I will put up in about a month and I will also show you the empties that I had throughout January and you will see that they are not many at all <laughs> so I really need this project to sort of kick my butt into gear because I have so many products that I could be working on but I'm just too lazy and if I have them in a product I feel like I will finally sort of just use them up so yeah, let's just get into it. I don't really know where to start, but because I have so few, I guess I'm just going to start with the empties that I collected throughout this month. So I have three skincare empties. I have one uh, cleanser. So this is the Clarins Gentle Foaming Cleanser with Shea Butter. So I have used up one of the like just regular cleansers that are just the <laughs> Gentle Foaming Cleanser, but this one is with Shea Butter. And I much prefer this one. I actually really, really like this one. I yeah, I think it's a nice cleanser. It's uh, very like gentle because it's quite moisturizing because it has the shea butter in it. So I would definitely, I, I would be happy to get like another, I got this from my grandma because I think she, I got it in a set or something. And I would be happy to get more of this and I would actually consider picking this up uh, sometime in the future if I need one. <laughs> and then I also used up the La Roche-Posay Eficlair matte uh, so I cut this open and this is just like a mattifying um, day cream and I actually really like this for the summertime because this 
sort of goes on very creamy and sort of feels almost a bit thick when it goes on and that is what I prefer my creams to be like I wish I had drier skin or like more normal skin because I really like those like really thick and just sort of luxurious and heavy duty moisturizers and this sort of felt like that it was like creamy and thick when it goes on and it feels really moisturizing and then it sort of almost dries down uh, a bit to like a more of a like not a powdery finish but sort of that sort of feeling but it does not sort of dry you out so it just like hydrates you but it does not make you like greasy or oily so I really do recommend this if you are oily and you want a moisturizer that feels nice but still does not make you like oily or greasy so yeah I would consider repurchasing this one uh, for like summertime because now I feel like it's a bit too dry for my skin in the winter and then the last skincare empty is this Sikamed Serum C Antioxidant. So it's just like a serum. And I did not like this one. So this is more of like a high-end serum, more than I'm used to. And I thought I would really like this one and with the Serum C. I think it's with, um, it's with, yeah, it has hyaluronic acid, vitamin C and uh, organic aloe vera. For intense hydration and radiant skin tone so I thought I would really like this because I have been curious about like serums with vitamin C in them but this does not work with makeup and it does not work with oily skin I think maybe if you have drier skin you wouldn't have as much problem that as I have because it breaks up really weirdly when it sort of reacts with oil because I did apply this one night and then I applied an like more oil serum on top and this just turns super weird so as soon as I get oily like my makeup just sort of breaks up and turns super weird and when you apply makeup on top of this it sort of balls up and I know it's not the other products that I was using in my routine because I'm still using those like this um I use this up and then uh, I continue using the other ones and it's not doing that at all so I know it's the serum's fault and I just think that that's just not because they say you can apply it in morning and even uh, in morning and evening after you cleanse your skin so I don't like this and I would probably not recommend this especially not if you are oily because your oils will sort of react really weirdly, weirdly <laughs> with this one and then the last empty is a uh, makeup empty and this is a face powder and this powder is from Giordi Armani and it's the Lumin Luminous Silk uh, Compact Dual Use Powder Compact. <laughs> and this, I think this was in the shade 00. Um, I'm not really sure. This is like a refillable packaging so I can just take this one out. Or maybe it's in the shade 2. Okay, I think this is in the shade 2. And... Yeah, I used this one up. It's not my favorite powder ever since I, I repressed it because I had quite a big pan. I will, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I had um, like a substantial pan in this one and then I repressed it. And I actually liked it more after I had repressed it than I did like before repressing it. And it sort of looked nice on the skin. I don't know if it's because I'm in winter. I don't know. It just looked better the like the last month or so when I used it compared to how I felt about it before but I feel like in no means that it's worth the money so I would not repurchase this one and I wouldn't recommend it either because there are definitely powders that I like much more that are much less expensive like I really love the L'Oreal True Match powder and I also really like if you're from Sweden I also really like the makeup store like translucent press powder I think that one is really good so I will not be uh, repurchasing this and not recommend this. So let's start about the 10 products that I'm going to be focusing on and hopefully using up within like a few months or so. So first up I have put a like I have written down Smashbox primer and I have two of them here. I have the Smashbox photo Smashbox photo finish foundation primer and I also have the photo finish primer water and I don't know which one I should focus on. Maybe this one just because it's winter and I have dry skin and this one is more moisturizing. But I just want this one out of my collection because it's not my favorite primer. So I'm not really sure but we'll see next. Maybe I will just use them both and make, yeah, we'll see. 
I will hopefully have decided by next month which one I want to focus on. And then I have the Dior Skin Star Foundation and this is it says it's a studio makeup spe spectacular brightening weightless perfection it's SPF 30 and it's supposed to be long wear and this is in the shade 010 and I'm like super far down in this one I'm like I swear I'm like down here and I have to sort of I can't just pump it like I, I have to shake it before I use it and then I can't just pump it out I have to do like this so that the product sort of collects at the bottom and then I can pump it up and pump it out on my hand so I know it's like on its last legs and I think this will definitely be done before the next update but I just wanted to put this on it put this in in this update so that I can mention it in my next one then I because I just finished that Giordia Armani powder I finished it when I like did my face for this video today so because of that I wanted to put in a new powder just so that I just keep going and sort of finish up my powders and I decided to pick the Wet n Wild Cover All Pressed Powder in the shade called Fair and here is what that one looks like so it's like from their older range of powders and like like base products and as you can see I have already heat pan in this one and I will be uh, weighing all of the products and taking photos of them so that we can follow along like the progress but I yeah as I said I do ha already have pan in this one and I will be using this one to set my face in the morning like every day from now on so hopefully I will have quite a bit of progress on that one and uh, then another Wet n Wild product I would really like to finish up this uh, Wet n Wild bronzer so this is from the Dolce de Leche sort of contouring duo and it used to be like a highlighting face powder right here and then this is a bronzer and as you can see I have quite a bit of pan in this one I have already used up the face powder and I am wearing the bronzer today it's not my favorite bronzer uh, so I would just really like to use this up and maybe within like two or three months I could probably do that because it's a very like loosely pressed powder so that you get a lot of kick up when you sort of go to use it so and it's not my favorite bronzer as I said uh, I really really like the powder that is in here I don't use it on my face I actually use it to set my eyeshadow base uh, and I feel like it's like the perfect powder to do that so maybe in the future if I repurchase this one I will sort of tell myself now you buy this for the powder and if you use up the powder then it's okay to just throw out the bronzer because I don't think that I would ever want to use up another one of these bronzers and then for concealer we have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm already like scraping out the bottom of this with a spatula so I, I have taken out the stopper and I can't get it more just with the doe foot applicator so I am scraping out the bottom with the spatula and I'm like 100% certain this will be done in a month so I'm excited about that so that was five makeup products so now I have the five sort of skincare and body products that I want to focus on and the first one is this Lumini Nordic Hydro Arctic do a quenching aqua serum and this is fairly new I'm right up here with this one and I have only used it for like a few days as ever since that like Sikamed um, serum C uh, serum red ran out <laughs> uh, so I've been using this one and I've been really really enjoying this one so I'm excited to use this more this is just a sample size or a deluxe sample size it has 15 milliliters in it so yeah I'm excited to be using this one and then a eye cream that I am focusing on currently is the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. And you're supposed to only use this one in the morning. Uh, and it has sort of like some, uh, it has some like shine to it that will give sort of like a brightening effect. I don't really see that a lot on my under eyes, but I use it just. I use it like morning and night because I think it's a quite moisturizing uh, eye cream so I want to focus on this one and I do think I only have like a little bit left like I'm already down to here so maybe it won't make, take me too long to finish this up and then I also have the face cream that I'm currently using and this is the Expert Lumini yeah, Moisture Remedy Day and Night Cream and I only have a little bit left in this one if you can see it's just a tiny bit left in here uh, and I will probably use this up within like a week or so and 
I have actually been using this as like a both a day and night cream and I thought I would not be able to do that just because I'm oily but it has worked really well so yeah I'm going to finish up the, with this like within a month for sure and then the two last products is one is the Viva La Deva Sorbet lip gloss and this is just one of those you sort of slide off this is really really old in my collection and I use this as a lip balm in the morning before I put on like lipstick uh, so I do have a pan so I've used up like a little bit less than half of the product so hopefully I can make some visible progress in this through like for the next couple of months. And then the last product is a body lotion from Kix. This is the clean laundry sort of scented body lotion and this is a smaller size so this is 50 milliliters and I think I'm about like here just from feeling it but I will uh, shine a light through it and sort of mark it but I'm pretty sure this will be done by next update if I just focus on it but I have like four body creams on my nightstand so I just need to sort of focus on this one and hopefully I will get this used up within a month. So yeah, that was everything for this project. I will probably have some like rules more clearly down in the description box and sort of, yeah. This, I, I don't know, I don't really know myself what this project will be. I just know that I want to focus on more products and I didn't feel like a uh, probably 10 pan would be perfect for me just because I also want to incorporate my empties and I just want overall more empties. I think I will include my samples and I think that might make me come like get to a hundred faster but then I will just increase the number and hopefully I can get like a ton of empties. Oh, I also wanted to mention that Missy Q Memoras is the one who gave me the inspiration to sort of tally up my empties and make my empties sort of like a project instead of just mentioning my empties each month. So I will have her listed in the description box and there are also tons of projects on Instagram which use the hashtag like project 100 empties I think uh, and like 100 colorful empties and all of that so it's nothing I didn't come up with it myself uh, so yeah I just wanted to mention that and you should definitely go check uh, Missy Q uh, memoirs out which I will have down in the description box so yeah that was everything for this video please give this video a thumbs up if you are also excited for this and hopefully hopefully I can get a lot of empties this year because that would be really nice and please consider subscribing if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one. Bye!